Police violence has been severely affecting our country for many years. It is very obvi obvious that these violent acts are done towards people of color and people who are different. In my life, I have also seen injustice towards people who are different. My father was a migrant farm worker who had lost his land un unjustly due to the unfair laws against migrant farm workers. I grew up knowing that the system is unfair and I've been able to spark many protests and boycotts to provide better rules for farm workers within California, Texas, Arizona, and Florida. St statistics show that police violence is a large cause of death for African Americans. This is a serious issue and there are many things that can be done to prevent this. In order to prevent police violence, many people who believe this is wrong should stand up. If we want to be noticed by the public, we should boycott institutions and businesses that promote or help police enact their violence. Uh, I also believe that we should have police officers be punished for their mistakes and we should also attempt to restrict the power that, that an individual has to make the community safer. The sole purpose for police officers is to protect people, however we are scared of them even when we have nothing to hide. People brush over the statistics and deaths caused by police officers because it's very normalized nowadays. Changing the image of police officers will be a positive outcome that our protests can yield, and I, I have many beliefs that and values that will affect the way that we go through our protests. My first value is nonviolence. I learned that to practice this value from Martin Luther King, and I intend to make it clear that we are not here to harm anyone. My second value is leadership. I have amazing experience with leading protests and boycotts, so I can use my knowledge to conduct these events with leadership and guide everybody to make a statement. My final value is dedication. These series of boycotts will require dedication and perseverance. If everybody that participates is dedicated, then we will succeed. In my life, I have witnessed many times where the law is unjust, and I have learned that perseverance is required to overcome this injustice, and uh, just like how I persevered when I fasted for 36 days for the safety of my workers' union, or when I marched 340 miles for better working conditions in the grape industry. Persistence and spirit will guide us to open the eyes of the public and have our movement be heard from east to west. Thank you, and I hope we can overcome this crisis in our society.